Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. It's Wrestling Red Entertainment, bringing you the latest exclusive breaking news, previewing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and everything in between every Saturday on YouTube and CastBox. I'm your host, James J. Starring Calico Yachts, who is not with us right now. Mitch Mayhem, who is? Hey, uh, what up? Finally on time. I guess so. <laughs> and Scooter Dust. I got nothing. Huh, that's new for you. I Usually you have you. something. Uh, I've got... Chlamydia. And maybe too, and too much care. information. It's a great day for wrestling, though. And Is it? Yeah, maybe it's maybe. never a great day for wrestling. But uh, we're going to start the show with something maybe a little weird, bizarre, whatever you want to call it. But if you're a fan of us, mainly Scooter Dust, you might find this interesting. So, we are wrestling with... Who's Scooter related to? Alright, now, I do warn you, if this takes up the entire show, I assume no responsibility for that. Um, because I have delved into the chaos that is my family tree thanks to a generous 14 day trial from jenny.com g-e-n-i dot com visit now sign up today for a free 14 day trial figure out who you might be related to who knows you might even be related to me you might even be related to one of us and god help you if you are Wrestling All right. Entertainment in uh, no ways endorses or promotes Jenny.com. And I, I asked him, like, yeah, put my name in there, see what comes up, and he said nothing came up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I, I put, I put, what's his name? I put Kalika's name in there. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Like, I, I, it's hard to find my answer. I, I put, I put all permutations. And it just said pot. No. You fuck off. <laughs> well, we All right. Now, now, we oh, have, fuck off. now we have wrestlers, we have celebrities, we have politicians. Maybe we should and just, just stick to the wrestlers. Oh, but they, it, trust me, I'm, I've got a, I've got a way to segment through this. But okay. let's let's start. You better keep your p p p poker face. <laughs> I had to, because you said you're related to Lady Gaga. Yes. It poker face. Let's start with. <laughs> let's. Let's start with songs. Anyway, sorry. Brock Lesnar. Oh, how did that? How did that come about? Wait, you're not related. You what? You have to guess, yes or no. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, but you, you, you've already told me, I think no. so. I haven't told any of you. No, I say false. You are not related to Brock Lesnar. No. I mean, I'm sure he's. He looks like he's had inbreeding in his family, but no. <laughs> The answer is no. I am not related to Brock Lesnar. Well, let's just get one out of the way. We already know that you're related to Tony Nese. You're his evil twin. All right. Ric Flair. No. Yeah. Um, no. I'm going to say yeah. Anyone who's already related to Ric Flair, he's fucking tried to learn about it and hit him up. Come on now. The answer is 
Yes. What? Bullshit. I mean, like, like, so distant it probably doesn't matter, though. My, f- my first cousin's once removed wife's first cousin's once removed husband, first cousin's wife's niece, ex husband's aunt's husband, second cousin once removed husband, Bull- brother's Jeez. ex partner's ex partner's ex partner, ex partner's father. Damn. That is 600 degrees of separation. Yeah. Okay. So, what does that make you t- related to Excel? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the, okay, let's go. Let's go with the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Kane. No, no. Where's Kane from? Spain. Spain. Oh. Spain. I wish I could look this shit up for me, dude. It's um, really interesting. I'm gonna say false. The correct answer is no. All right. Big shocker. He looks like my childhood friend Wayne. Like legit, his face dead fucking ringer for for my friend Wayne. So your childhood friend Wayne looks like Kane from Spain. No, Kane the fu- no Kane uh fucking Glenn Jacobs. Yeah, Kane. All right. Looks just like him. Dave Batista. I'm gonna say yeah. True. Uh, I fuck. I uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And how related are you to him, Scooter? It's like zero zero point zero zero one. About thirty two. 33 degrees, and it goes through both John Travolta and George Clooney. Oh, fuck off! Oh. Okay, then I have fucking, I have that then. If you, if it's that, you go that bad, I, I, then I, I'm I, sure I'm related to people like that, too. I have the exact, I have the exact relationship in front of me. I'm just saying, if it goes that back, far back, I'm sure I have the same connections. That's all I'm saying. Um, I doubt it because then you'd be related to my family. It'd be what? These are these are through in-law relationships, but not direct. These are like uh, like degree after degree after degree later. Like, what do you mean? This is like my, the uncle of of uh, my friend sister. Of <laughs> this is baseball type relationships, and, 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 and even so. People, uh, a lot of people don't have these degrees of relationships. Just play the game, okay. Mitch. What? Just play the okay. game, Mitch. Let's go with. I'm not good at playing games. We know. I'm not what? good at playing mental games. So I'm what? Let's go with. John Cena! Yes. There should there should be a third option of don't care. <laughs> yeah, there's a there, there's a third option. It's a hit your mute button and <laughs> not do this. I'm joking. I say true, absolutely. He has way too many siblings for it not to be true. All right. This this is a bit of a bit of deception uh, on my part because technically the relationship goes through Nikki Bella. Oh. They're not even together anymore. Come on, man. Still counts as a degree. No, it doesn't. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. So we're saying not through blood, but we're talking about through stepwives and fucking like marriages and stuff that's not blood. It's a... I... Specifically said through an in-law relationship. Yeah. Then okay, I'm telling you, I just can't find it. I, I, if you have those connections, I guarantee you, I do too. And then but, when, okay. you, and when you can find Not it, the same people, but please come and talk to us. I tried to tell you, you, you tried okay. to type my name, and you said nothing was in it. Nothing is related to me. I can't find stuff for you. Oh, I thought you could type my name in. Oh, okay, no. okay never mind. You didn't make it clear. 
Can, all right, can we clip this, please? You, you said it. You said I searched your name. I thought it was that simple. Search your name in relation to me. Oh, you didn't fill it out. You didn't re say that why, part why, of it. Why did that have to be filled out? Why did that? Because I think I Are thought it would have been possible. Me? Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> Let's go with the Illinois wrestling champion of the world, Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Probably. Yes, I'm gonna say yes. The answer is if it's like not blood and it's like indirect, yeah, of course, I'm sure. Okay. Let's go with the other Illinois wrestling champion, Barack Obama. No. Mm, yes. The answer is yes. Oh, I knew it. I I I think you told me that honestly. Two more. Snoop Dogg. Uh, <laughs> no. And Snoop Dogg is. Yeah. Okay, then that means you have Sasha Banks in your family. It's also Sasha Banks then. Yes, that is true. And, and from what I'm looking at, Snoop Dogg is actually a blood relation. Damn. Wait, last one. Our glorious president, Donald J. Trump. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. fucking with me. Oh, tune in next week to find out. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Well, you can't do us that way. Deja vu. Um. Uh. Surprisingly, this is actually. Oh, there is only twelve degrees between me and our current president. Uh, because it turns out my family. Uh, uh my, oh. mother, my 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 mother's cousins, my mother's cousin married in to the Kushners, and that is Jared Kushner is his son-in-law. By so, the way, real quick, I I remember what I was gonna say, Larry David, he uh. It, yeah, and a few about people. finding your roots on PBS. Yes. So, Scooter, uh, now that you found out you're related to Donald Trump, are you accepting any of the heat Donald Trump gets? Will no, you put that? I'm, a, I'm also related to Teddy Roosevelt, Calvin hey. Coolidge. Uh, I can see myself being related in some way to Roosevelt. George W. Bush. Uh. Billy Crystal, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not related to Vin Diesel, Tom Hanks. Uh, I am I am related to JFK. Yeah, all the, aren't all the presidents related? Really? Uh, that, 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 that's a uh, a um a uh, a, a myth. Of, also, uh, I also am related to Joaquin Phoenix, uh, as well as. Ben Affleck. Uh, Why would you uh, want to be related to Ben Affleck? Pete no. Davidson. Um, Pete, Pete Davidson from yeah. SNL. Yep. He's fucking funny as hell. I like Pete Davidson. Uh, Paul Rudd. Josh Brolin. Barbara Streisand. Leonard Nimoy. Eminem. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jason Siegel. Jennifer Adam, Love Hewitt, back in the day, holy fuck. Adam Sandler. Billy Joel. Oh, that's just and, a hodgepodge of fucking who's who Hollywood fuck. And the outlaw, Jesse James. Jesse so, James? just saying real quick, Drew, real quick. In theory, if it's through relationships other people had, then that you would also add Sandra Bullock to that list, because they were, Jesse James and Bullock were... Or, uh, the outlaw. 
Not the oh. Oh, guy. I thought you meant Jesse James. The okay, never mind. So the guy. Who ah. Okay, there's a living Jesse James now. Too many people have that name. Scooter, I is there, was there any relation to Sammy Smith since? Who? Sammy Smith, Sonny. Sammy. It sounds like you said Sammy Sitch. Like Sammy Smith? No, Sammy. Sammy. Yeah. WWE, Sonny. It sounds like you're saying Sonny and Tammy and putting them together like Sammy. Yeah. Sammy. Yeah, it, it sounds uh, like you're saying that. Yeah, it, it, if there was any relation, that'd be really friggin' creepy considering the history I have with her, so. Well, well you, you said something a little more Sonny, okay. Sonny uh, also has a history of being arrested, which she did again earlier this week for violating the parole. Surprise. Uh, driving with a suspended license, licenses, and um. Welcome and, to in your house. Fuck the police. At, at this point, with Sunny, you just kind of have to laugh, right? At this point. I mean, it, it's tragic, really. She was the hottest woman around in like ninety six, ninety seven. For like, she had a big fall, dude. In my opinion, I don't know about you guys, but I think she was on top of the world. She could have been something for like ten, twenty years, dude. She threw it all away, in my opinion. She's gonna have her own spinoff. Sunny is the new all uh, black in Philadelphia. <laughs> And real quick, she's she's not even half as hot as she is. She, she's like four times the size now. So, what she think we, most... that's being generous too. I think we can agree. I think we'd rather do her than Mitch. I had a crush on her as a kid. Now I think he's nasty. <laughs> she uh, got arrested for eluding the police, a police officer, contempt okay. violating domestic violence restraining order. Operating uh, yep. motor vehicle during second license suspension. Yep, and she's only got, her second. She's got a warrant out also in Pennsylvania. I'm shocked it wasn't like more than the second, but okay. She went. She went looking for friggin' Damien Darling again, and. Hey, when you're in bad crowds, it, it takes you into bad shit, dude. I'm just... It's not uh, I could make the argument uh, Sunny was always the bad crowd. Well, she's always... But yeah, she's part of the bad crowd, too. But I'm just saying she also hangs around not-so-great people. And the same thing for them, I guess. She, they hang with her, you know? Well, that's why uh, she, got, she got passed around more at parties than a Costco cheese tray. I've heard the stories, dude. Oh, yeah. I, no, I've heard like backstage stuff. Like, yeah, like it was. She basically was passed around in ECW for sure. Oh, uh, going on to the next uh, piece of news. There was a uh, last um, Friday on SmackDown. There was a karaoke challenge between um. Oh, what are the names? Um, well, anyway, there was a karaoke challenge with Lacey Evans, Naomi, Tamina. Yeah, and Lacey's now a heel again. <laughs> wow, that was quick. I mean, if, if Bruce Pritchard was not behind us, I would be dead shocked, right? He's Can, behind everything in creative right now. If, he, if he's... Behind anything other than a sandwich <laughs> shot. But coming out of that segment, which, let's face it, was not a good segment, Naomi kind of criticized it, saying, you know, I'm, I'm making chicken salad out of chicken set. Shit. Wait, wait, I, 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 think, I think we have, um, I think I have a clip from that. Hold on. It's like a crime scene in my pants. What the fuck? What? 
<laughs> I just wanted to play that. It's like a crime scene in my pants. I've heard that somewhere. Yeah, it's a, I, I, I believe a lot of people have. It's, it's from the movie what? No Strings Attached. It's from what? It's from the movie No Strings Attached. Oh, okay. Starring my 73rd cousin <laughs> twice removed on my mother's uh, foot, Ashton Kutcher. So what, what I'm getting to is, you know, Naomi, one of the battle wrestlers, um, has had some issues with getting a push in WWE in recent years. Should she really be criticizing segments she's in that she actually gets featured in? I mean, she wants a push. She's going to get a push out the door. Right. I mean, luckily she'll be able to. She'll have plenty of cushion to land on. This is true. That's a nice tuckest. Not really. It's just big. Well, some. Oh, unfortunately, some of us aren't lucky to have it on our backside. Actually, that's where like almost all my weight is. So. In your face. <sighs> exactly. You know what I mean. Uh, I know a piece of news of this week. Um, Shayna Baszler made her return to Monday Night Raw and uh, kind of alluded that she will be taking on Asuka. Um, is this kind of because Charlotte may not be ready for SummerSlam? Or do you think maybe finally Vince McMahon uh, is ready to pull the trick on her? I mean, if he's gonna pull a trigger, it's probably of a gun. <laughs> I should know better thinks, than to ask you. Because you think shade has got a bum leg and shade is a horse. <laughs> that, that's what Vince thinks. We gotta put her down. She can't ride the Kentucky Derby. Um, I mean, given that. Charlotte's got a busted boob again. Yeah, first second one. Well, the first one was like a uh, silicone contamination, and this one it's not that. But yeah, it is not because they're not silicone this time, and usually they're not anymore. <laughs> I, I thought silicone was an old substance. Usually they're. Used they're saline so that when if something like this were to uh -huh. happen, it could Sailor. be right into the body. In fact, mm -hmm. in fact, usually now most of them are like they're like the friggin' like pump sneakers where they attach like a little thing and they just like pump them up. I swear mm -hmm. to God, they have it ready to go. They they sell that. They, that's a million dollar industry. You know in that, right? The advancement in boobs today. I, I tell you, I got into the wrong business. Mm-hmm. I think we might, all of us may have. Um, you know, well, that one's just their boobs. No. I mean, if you're going to have a stupid injury, busted boob is kind of on the top of that list, right? I mean, considering that it freaking happened to uh, China on live TV. What was that? Oh, that that was back in like '98. I, I, uh, she like, she, she, it was it was either she caught somebody on the outside, and she said, I, I forget, I forget who told the story, but she said she could hear like a, like a leaking sound, almost like a like a like a like a like a balloon deflating. <laughs> I don't remember that. If I saw it, I definitely don't remember that or didn't touch it. I, I just don't get why some women have to complete all their, like, self worth, or not self worth, but their, like, confidence into their boobs. Like, I don't, I just don't get it. Do, uh, do we really have to, do we really have to break out the Alexa Bliss paradox again? I don't get it. I'm so, just saying I don't get it. I understand it's a thing. I just, I don't I understand it. The, the fact that it could actually do, it could actually improve self-esteem. No, okay. No, I, I'm not, yes. For some, it, 
I see what you're saying. It can for certain, but I don't understand why some like that don't have that issue. That don't have that issue. I don't understand that. I can understand if you have that issue. Let's go your thoughts on um, uh, Saint Abyssal getting a plus. Um, I don't believe it. I believe it when I see it. Push it off a cliff. Yeah. Um, who's not getting a plus? Uh, Tony Khan did a, a couple interviews this week, and uh, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but. What he basically said was the reason he suspended Jimmy Havoc and Sammy Guevara were because he didn't know what else to do. And by letting them sit home suspended without pay, he could figure out what to do while they're suspended. Does this seem uh, like proper um, managing by Tony Khan, Scooter? Spoken like a true Mark, uh, who doesn't know how to handle the freaking business. And considering that, you know, if Tony Khan hadn't done anything, would anything at all have happened to them? Would would, would 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 Kenny, Cody, Matt, and Nick, you know, do their jobs as you know the vice presidents of the company? And that's, that's actually, a good question. You, know, you know, because something's telling me that they 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 considering how little we've heard from them on this. It's almost as like they're they're letting they let like Tony like take the like the full brunt of it. And do you think that's by design? Do you think uh, Tony may have said uh, maybe I should take the full brunt of this? I I I don't I mean probably quite quite frankly. People are going to forget what Jimmy and Sammy have done sooner than like than, than anybody else. So, Do you think, um, I definitely felt this way, uh, an indefinitely suspended with no timetable of a, a return was kind of maybe too much of a punishment? Uh, I'd say dirty, maybe 60 days at best. Well, I mean, considering, the, the, quite honestly, this is probably the best time to get suspended. Because it's happening so much? No, because you won't really be hurting yourself. Oh, because of COVID, yeah. Like, you could go away and come back and it still be... No That's problem. the thing, though. We, the coming back thing is the part you got to worry about. And the, and the crowds are never coming back. Instead, androids with cameras in their faces will now be sitting in the audience, mm -hmm. and we will have to rent one of those androids. I wouldn't shock me at all. Capitalism. Something, it makes the world around. Something mm -hmm. you, uh, you mentioned earlier, Scooter, uh, spoken like a true mark. Is Tony Khan a mark, or is he... Somebody that maybe knows something about the wrestling business. Uh, you know, there's a mark with a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. A, a bunch That's how of they us, see. A lot of them see it. A bunch of us, you know, have have the ability to book. The one thing we don't have is the money to do so. Right. But Todd just happens to have both. Bingo. But does Tony uh, Tony Khan uh, book? AEW TV? But, well, not, he, I, don't, I, don't, we don't, he, I don't mean by literally. Me. He works with everyone else he, about them, if right. anything, if his input's even in it. I mean, the ability to actually, you know, put, uh, you know, put a promotion 
together. Right. That, that, that's what you know. That yeah. that's what book means these days. Anyway, so well, let me ask you another question: If the young bucks, Cody and uh, Kenny Omega, were not all vice presidents of AEW, right. and the president. Vice presidents. Was, presidents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did that purposely. Uh, if there was only like one, maybe two at best, and it was somebody maybe a little bit smarter, somebody that knows the business internally, would AEW be a better environment for a wrestling company? I... I I don't know if any if that can a fair, a fair subject can be made of that because because the the pandemic just bringing a halt to any you know impeding uh progress uh, I mean it, you know it's it's just one of the things you can't just you can't. I don't think a judgment can be made like that. What about you, Mitch? Do you think you can make that judgment? Repeat the thing. What what judgment? If there was another vice president that was smarter on the business side of professional wrestling in AEW, would AEW uh, succeed more? I think Tony Khan's actually good with the money part of it. But on the wrestling it, side. That's Cody, Young Bucks, and Kenny. But if it wasn't, and it was just one or two people that have an approximate knowledge of how the business works, a set of them. Not with Tony. It would be with another, maybe another millionaire, maybe. I don't know. But it, 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 like I said, Tony's just a mark with a lot of money, in my opinion. All right. Um, earlier this week, um, uh, Raven kind and a lot of people were speculating that NWA Wrestling was going to go out of business and was shutting their doors. But then Billy Corgan came out and said that's not true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe sure. It kind of seems like. NWA was kind of stop and start. You know, they came out really heavy. The real win winner of the Wednesday Night Wars were on Tuesdays. Um, and they, uh, I was gonna say, you, you know, besides just besides Ricky Starks, they also lost Ziggy Dice, right? Right. And yeah. you know, it seems like they got hit the worst in this pandemic because they haven't had a a live show since it started. Um, do you see, when do you see NWA coming back, to Scooter? Honestly, probably not. I would not be. I wouldn't. At least not under. At least not under Billy Corgan. So. And yeah, Dave Lagana's is gone now. So. Right. And he was the head, the brains behind power. They took some big hits in this pandemic. Probably not ones that they wanted to uh, take, right? Obviously. Yeah. Uh, Billy Corkin, a smart mark with money or an actual promoter? See, I but, think, yeah, I think, I think, Cor I think Corgan had. Some idea. Yeah, it's funny enough. I was gonna say, yeah, he might have lost a lot of money, but I actually think he has more of an idea than Tony. <laughs> you want to continue that thought, Scooter? Yeah, sorry. No, yeah, it, it, it seems like he had like, yeah, you know, an idea. I mean, going going back to you know his time at Impact, and you know it's. It, 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 it's odd when you see somebody like 
Billy Corgan, who, uh, who you don't expect to be, the, you know, that type of person. But... I mean, all that being, uh, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. I, mean mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, yeah. Did it go in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, continue. Yeah, we can hear. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trailing off at this point because. Yeah. So okay, do you I, I, think that maybe Billy Corgan is kind of snake bit at this point? You know, he tried doing Impact Wrestling. We know that was, you know, a dumpster fire. Uh, he tried his hand at another wrestling promotion, I'm pretty sure. And he, you know, he's tried to make the rounds of making a good wrestling promotion. And it finally felt like he, you know, hit it out of the park with NWA. And then, you know, COVID happens. Do Gotta think- be able to make money. It don't matter if the product's good. Well, it seemed like NWA was making money, and, you know... How do you were... make enough money without a crab? It's a live... Over. It's a live... It's a live... Uh, act, you, you know, they they do live performances. That's what the business is. Before COVID, I meant. And I'm just saying, while this keeps going on, I don't see how they're going to... I don't see how they're going to survive. Right. So, is Billy Cook... So Billy Corgan just, you know, waved the white, white flag and give up on his wrestling dreams? Or would you like to see him take another step at it? Depends on how much money he wants to lose, man. It's up to him. But he should pull a Dido. All right. Um, another thing I wanted to uh, maybe just touch on was... Um, Maybe the controversy surrounding Sunny Kiss this week. I don't know what happened. Uh, there was a lot of hate on Sunny because he was wrestling uh, Cody this week. Um, you know, some hmm? uh, homophobic comments were made about him. By who? Twitter assholes, trolls. Oh. And uh, but the thing that you know. I really hate about, you know, the, the wrestling companies, um, you know, Twitter and wrestling fans in, in general, is that good points get lost in hate speeches. Because should, ha- should Sonny have yeah, been true. wrestling Cody on AEW TV? Probably not. I mean, but if, if hold on, if you're gonna give Marco Stun a spot in there, why the hell not? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give Marco Stun a shot either. I wouldn't either. I'm just saying. But this is the point I'm making. Sunny Kiss has only had three matches on AEW TV. Two of them were they want to be inclusive, and Matthew. one of them was a tag team match. He has yet to have. A singles match on AEW TV, and like you just heard my what I think it is. So. What about you, Scooter? What are your thoughts? I mean, like I said, like I um, like I said last week. Quite frankly, I really think that you know it's there, and this is why AEW is. Uh, it, it, it's failing. They're. I don't know if it's failing. They're, they're, they're putting like everything, like. They're taking any and all talent and just like. Put it, put it this way. AEW is considered a wrestling simulator, and it seems like 
all of their talent is on the injured list, apparently, and they can't use them. So they're filling their cards with the people that aren't used that yep. often. And they finally freaking used Brian Pillman Jr. after saying they were going to sign him, like, in the very beginning of the promotion. I mean, he was in the, uh... He was in the crowd. <laughs> so? A weaker. Yeah, so, yeah, so... So, <laughs> I, I mean, that's like uh, that's like saying, oh, well, they use hand sanitizer too. Exactly. One thing, uh, they're still breathing I kinda, and around other people in public, which spreads it. I, kinda, <laughs> I just kind of see it as them feeding the machine, you know, Cody being the machine, you know, they not to say that he is, but more or less, Cody, Young Sonny Bucks, Kiss and is Kenny. Talent. So, it's those four. So just feeding Cody another job board to beat is kind of how I view it. Use it. Um. Anything you wanna uh, end this this segment with? You're excused. <laughs> that was all now. And we will end uh, our new segment here. And we are wrestling with the New Japan Dominion. So it was last um, Saturday. Yeah, but it's Japanese wrestling. <laughs> well, we won't talk about the matches. Obviously, you guys didn't see them. Um. <laughs> Personally, I feel this was the most important wrestling show of the year simply because it was in front of a crowd. No other wrestling um, well, company. Japan can do that because, yeah, Japan can do that because the United States is where, like, the hotspot is. There's still a lot of countries that are still on the lockdown, though. Not as bad. I, not as uh, bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, U.S. is number one for COVID. I, for I sure. mean, hello. What, what what country's right next to Japan? What? What country's right next to Japan? China. Across the sea, but it's across. It's not connected. What are you talking about? It's still. <laughs> it's, it's still. Yeah, I mean, but it, they've done a good China. job. They're in South Korea. Have done a good job at containing it. I mean, it, it started in, saying, in China facts. and spread to China I mean, and then came here. We know where it started. I, it hit all those places. I'm just saying in terms of contamination, like uh, locking up the contamination, they did it quick. They they did went on lockdown like earlier than we did, and they stayed on lockdown for a while. China, China did Not, it. I'm talking about Japan. I'm talking about China. I'm talking I'm about, and I said Japan. I said Japan and South Korea. Or did a good job about it. Yeah, but I was talking about them already. And then you jumped to China. Well, I think consider the distance they are, they, they, the short distance they have to, to China. And I said, but, when you brought up China, I said South Korea and Japan handled it well. They shut down early, and they stayed shut down. But isn't it That's not, why it's not affecting them as much. Isn't it a so. miracle that any type of sports was able to have a show with a live audience that has to mean something to somebody. I right? honestly think, well, I, I think it's irresponsible, me personally. I mean, they could, they, could, they could be filmed before a live ostrich. Did you hear about um, that stupid freaking YouTuber, Jake Paul? He had a freaking COVID party where like almost everyone, like 200, 300 people, like teens, came over. And it was like the small little mansion house, and it sounds like like all a lot of them got COVID. <laughs> so on, yeah. Uh, on the first day, the finals of the New Japan Cup, Evil defeated uh, Kazuchika Okada, uh, and officially turned on Lij to become Bullet Club. Um, first thing I want to start this off by is Bullet Club was a 
Gaishin faction. It kind of seems like Japanese wrestlers kind of run Bullet Club right now. What 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 are your thoughts on you know the Bullet Club being primarily a Gaishin uh a faction and kind of now getting flooded with more Japanese wrestlers. Scooter. Uh, I mean, they need something to, you know. I mean, I, I at this point, I don't even know if, if this will get anything to do with the fact that Bull Club's a Gaijin, uh, uh, Gaijin stable. I mean, that's how it started. Was, uh... Uh, I think it has more to do with them being in Japan, whereas others can't be there right now. You know? Right. Like Will Ospreay. Yeah. And uh, to that point, fuck Will Ospreay. Um, yeah. The... And then the second part of this, Evil, turning on LIJ. You know, Evil, yeah, that, I heard about that. Evil was the first uh, member of Lost Single of Not Blaze the Hapan. And for him to be the Excuse first. Excuse you. To be the first <laughs> to actually. Um, Lost Single of Not Blaze the Hapan. Kazunta. Yeah, Kazunta. To be the first one to actually betray the faction. Um. That means a lot, right? Scootle? I guess. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. For Japan. Well, then you you go on the second day of Dominion. This is America! <laughs> and, uh, Tetsu <laughs> and Naito lost to the new Evil Bullet Club in 38 minutes and 1 second with the Everything is Evil. And in a world with double champions, evil becomes a triple champion. Don't worry, there'll be a quadruple champion soon enough. Yeah. I'm Okado just... will get it back eventually. But, but does nobody remember that friggin' Ultimo Dragon was a friggin' non-uple champion? <laughs> I, mean, I know, right? I mean... Dude, hell, not, nine, yeah, nine, 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 nine titles. Nine, yeah. nine titles at the same freaking time. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I mean, just a couple of years ago, Boston Aries held like six, seven belts, world championships too. That, that's before P. That's before anything Austin Aries did. Uh, that's before you know everything Austin Aries did stop mattering. What? <laughs> and that's a shame because Austin Aries was a great wrestler. He was kind of overhyped, I will admit. He was a twatsicle. <laughs> Some people get overhyped. They really do. And uh, during the match, uh, Naito was attacked by a mystery assailant who was later revealed to be Dick to go. <laughs> the way you say that. <laughs> Dick to go. Dick to go. Yeah. Really? To go? Really? To go? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have to endorse anymore. <laughs> I mean, you have to have it to go. That's uh, 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 That's like... That's like... It's like saying, it's like saying, too nasty. <laughs> no, that's funny as fuck. That, that's why it is its own little thing. It stands alone. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Show Funaki. Or Ben's Ben's <laughs> to go. <laughs> uh, along with his manager, Vagina <laughs> to <stay. laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, I'm ready okay. for, uh, Dick to go versus it's Duke Togo. Match. It's Togo. <laughs> no, it's to go. His name is Dick Togo. To go. It's yeah. Togo. It, it's it, Togo. No. To go. To go. <laughs> yeah. 
James, if I could reach through the screen and strangle, <laughs> I'd probably, I'd probably still strangle, bitch. But uh, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> but so, all joking aside, um, the match before that, <laughs> Tanahashi and Ibushi lost the tag team okay. championships to Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. Um, you know, like you're, you're having a, and lesbian. you have a show in front of, uh, people finally, don't you want to end on that feel good moment instead of making it the worst case scenario for fans in attendance, Scooter? I mean, they're all living in, they're already living in a world where it's the worst case scenario, so why not just kick them while they're down? Honestly, that really sucks. I mean, <laughs> give them what they want at least once. But you. They're Japanese. They can't even wait for their fish to cook. <laughs> Alright. That'll conclude our coverage of New Japan. I'm sure we'll have more dick to go. And, uh, Togo! Togo! Like Togo uh, sandwiches? Yes, 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 please. Can I get a large dick to go? <laughs> and, uh, I'll yeah, have you ever heard of Togo sandwiches? Can, 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 I, can, I, can I just take a... I'll just get a small vagina. <laughs> Hello, have you? Have, have you heard of Togo sandwiches? The... Even if you add the toe, it still sounds to go. Toe go. No, it's like toe 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 go. It's like toe go. To let's have a toe go party. Toe go, yeah. What, what, what did the Greeks wear? Toe goes. Notice they wore toe goes. That you could say right. <laughs> Why would I be able to say that right? Uh, That's a good question. <laughs> To go. Alright, we are wrestling the world. <laughs> or Lady Gaga. WWE, Our vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry. WWE Extreme Rules preview. It's uh, tomorrow, actually. Wrestling with syllables. <laughs> Extreme uh, Rules. Scooter, uh, will you be. Uh, Will you be covering Extreme Rules this uh this Sunday? You'll have to, you'll have covering to it like a fat lady covering a cake. But only people that can pronounce uh Togo's last name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm asking is, will you be doing the remix tomorrow to cover the horror show that is Extreme Rules? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, a mystery. Lister, don't tell James that I am doing it. Hey, I'm the only one that comes sometimes, so I'm sure you want me. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I, I, I just don't come if I don't feel wanted. If I'm wanted, I'll come. You're... Maybe, maybe if you come prepared to do... Yeah, the, the, the jab. Yeah, just tell me what you... I don't want to just, like, get the network to sit there and do nothing. Then get the WWE Network and watch the show. I'd say, but then i just sit there and do nothing anyway, so I... I like, I don't get to fucking cover it. I don't get to do play-by-play -play or anything. But, whatever. All right, let's go through the matches. MVP versus Apollo Crews for the United States Championship. Who wins, Scooter? It's Togo. <laughs> Dick Togo will arrive and win everything. And then he will light everything on fire. Um, uh, considering it's a new... Uh, they brought in that new belt for MVP. Uh, I mean, 
I mean, it, I think it would really be freaking stupid to take the belt off, uh, you know, Apollo at this point. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to say Apollo. Mitch? Yeah, I'll repeat that. I'm sorry. <laughs> MVP or Apollo Crews? MVP. Selfishly, I kind of want MVP too. I'm just... I, MVP was a, a great wrestler back in the day, and I enjoyed well, his work. I, I still my, enjoy his my, work, so... My decision is not so much on who I like more. I like yeah. Apollo Crews. It's more on who I think Vince will yeah, win. But my picks, are, I'm going with the heart and going with MVP. Um, okay. Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. Um, Dream, uh, we all know what to say, right? Three, three, uh, three, two, one, Drew. Back in front Randy of Orton. Uh, now, considering that this is most likely going to be a TLC match, um, I, you know, I would this. They're they're gonna set somebody up for uh, for SummerSlam, whether that's Randy Orton or Adam Cole. Probably Randy. Probably Randy. I mean, and I mean, RKO off the ladder just seems. Uh, yeah, Randy's gonna get put back in the main event. Yeah, and I mean, God forbid, unless uh, you know. Unless somehow, some some clusterfuck of a way, Otis <laughs> ends up... Oh, you know what I thought you were going to say? Oh, God. I thought you were going to say if somebody, some fucking crazy, re- for some crazy reason, Brock Lesnar comes back. That's no. what I thought you were going to say. No, no, no. Brock, Brock's not, Brock's not going to... That's back. what I think, too, but... Huh? Brock's in a... Uh... Somewhere in Nova Scotia, ordering Dick to go. He doesn't need to do anything ever again in his life. He, he, he's making sure his daughter never gets thought out. <laughs> never gets oh. thought out. <laughs> Get it? So, uh, you, you put up so his daughter point. doesn't become a thought. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, she's frozen like a friggin'. I'm, it was a joke. I know what you meant. What, nobody should procreate like that. <laughs> I, dude, I was, I know. I saw that picture. I was like, holy shit, that's a real person. You brought up a uh, interesting uh, uh, comment, uh, Scooter. Um, setting up SummerSlam, whether it be Adam Cole or Drew McIntyre um, or Randy Orton, who would you rather it be? Oh, I know. I know. I'd rather be Adam Cole by a mile, because uh, you know the the you know Drew was there when Adam when the Undisputed Era made their WWE debut. The story I think, still. Yeah, I think it'd only be fair for Drew to be there again when they make their main roster debut. And I can't agree more with that. But what about you, you think they're gonna try to split Adam Cole from? The rest of them? No, 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 no. I hope not. And, 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 and given given with the, I I think given with AEW's possibility of creating their own four horsemen, I think I think they're gonna try to set up. How how would they be able to do that? Doesn't WWE own the four horsemen name? I thought. Yeah, they're, but they're gonna try to. They can still equivocate. Yeah, of course they can. Yeah, but they can't but, call it the new Four Horsemen. No, no, not coming. That, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. I think, like, I think this is gonna lead to some form of like Randy Orton and Adam Cole and the undisputed Baby. era. You know, like 
alliance. And, and, and we're get, maybe we're getting we're probably going to see something along the lines of what happened to Randy in 2004 with Roderick Strong. Hmm. Ooh, I get what you're you're saying. What about or, you? or or we could see actually the opposite way around with Adam being mm. the one kicked out. Randy takes his place. All right, maybe. Love yeah, if anyone life. got taken out, it would be Roderick Straw. What about you, Mitch? Who would you prefer, uh, a Randy or a Cole? Stick with what you know right now. In the time of uncertainty and everything that we're in right now, let's just go with what we know works. Randy Hepatitis. Works. Yeah, oh. that's too. All right, uh, next match, Oscar versus That works Sasha. for killing a lot of people, I guess. Oscar versus Sasha Banks, Raw Women's Championship. Scooter, who wins? Who wins Sasha Banks? Sorry. Oscar. Yeah. Oh, uh, jeez. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> considering that, and if they, if they are we going to have Sasha three belts? And, no, no, Sasha, no, wait, no. Yeah, well, it's be Sasha two belts. Sasha three belts. Sasha three belts. Sasha three belts. Sasha three belts. belts. Sasha three belts. Sasha both belts. And Bailey both belts. And, it's barely dust. Okay, straps. okay. Get it right, uh, Scooter. Oh, barely dose strap on my dick. Uh, no, thank uh, you. Uh, Oscar, Oscar retains. Bailey retains. Yeah, Oscar retains. What about Bailey? Uh, Nikki I hope, real quick. I hope they do something with the Bailey Sasha Banks. Like teasing towards them breaking up eventually. I hope they progress that more, but I don't know if they will. What about Bailey versus Nikki Cross match? Who wins that match? Bailey. Bailey's uh, Bailey continues her reign. Uh, mm -hmm. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt in a Wyatt Swamp fight. Uh, Scooter. It won't matter. Is this the Bray, like, old Bray Wyatt? It, it is. is the, it's a Wyatt swamp fight. But is yeah. it the old Bray Wyatt, like the old cultist Bray Wyatt? It is. So he reverted back to that. Okay. Yep. No, he didn't revert, revert. It's... Another personality. Was well, it like a hybrid? It's like, when, when this is over, he'll go back to being... Right, so a hybrid. Yeah. But he's not the Mr. Rogers, Bray Wyatt. Not at the moment, no. No, no. All right. It doesn't matter. It's not for the title anyway, so. It isn't? How long has the Fiend been missing? Since WrestleMania, uh, I think. Damn. No, since, no, since, um, since when he's, he's uh, since, since Braun beat Bray. The I, I, dude, the Fiend is their yeah. best thing. I don't know why they would not have Fiend on TV. But he didn't show up. I would, if I am the Vince McMahon, I want the Fiend mm -hmm. on the te television as much as fucking possible. Now. now. Now that it already got watered down. And everything. Do, you, uh, do you think uh, maybe Otis... Makes his way to the swamp and cashes in the briefcase on. Uh, Dude, I hope uh, they <laughs> stay with Otis and Tucker doing the tag titles. Otis yeah. has no fucking business in the main event. They're Otis not. They're not have any business on WWE TV. They're no, not, he he uh, he's a tag to, tag title or tag team niche. They're, he, they're not, he's okay in that niche, but not for the main event. They're not gonna let the money in the bank briefcase. Go for the tag team titles, otherwise they win. That's what I thought. When, it, but why would they have him win? I don't get it. Because why? Why have anybody win? Well, obviously, I'm just saying I don't see a lot in him as much as Vince does. I mean, you might as well have Marco fucking stunt come in as no. A okay, that just, that just that's just that's just too far. <laughs> Fuck off. That that Otis ain't that bad. Um. 
Otis is, hold on. Oh, no, Otis is somewhat entertaining, actually. Somewhat. Not the most, so but at least I, I, I think he's bearable on TV. I think he's absolutely bearable on TV. I mean, if Otis maybe had a last name, he just wanted Otis. Those of it, yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened, those of it. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't keep expecting to see him team up with Milo. Nobody remembers the adventures of Milo and Otis, do they? Oh, now that you put those two together. <laughs> now I do. I That's Yeah, true. I watched that when I was a kid, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah I, do. I love that movie. All over company, Milo and Otis. Touch familiar. All right, um... Ray it's 80s movies, yeah. Rey Mysterio vs. Seth Rollins, an eye for an eye match. First person to extract the other person. Hoover, H- Hoover's Rollins? Rey Mysterio. Mysterio. Okay, I didn't hear. That's why I asked. First Jay person Mysterio. to extract the other opponent's eye wins the match. Who wins Probably, the sir. It's a lower occipital protuberance match. Oh, fuck off. External. <laughs> Mitch, who's Would losing you an eye? fuck up? Really, though. Everybody who's watching it as they gouge their own eyes out. Yeah, uh, Ray's not going to win. Seth wins. I mean, it, it, we, oh, wait. Can we talk about the fact that Kevin Owens name dropped? Didn't he? A, a certain, a name dropped a certain uh, ROH champion. Yes. What do you mean? And that was a much appreciated. Kevin he, Owens said to Seth Rollins, he had a present. Uh, he was in touch with a guy named uh, Jean Pierre Lafitte. He, has a, he had a present for Seth Rollins. <laughs> John he, he me. Gave him an eye patch. Nice, nice. Well, that's a former WWE property character. So. Yeah. I mean, it just <clears> so, <throat> It was not lost on me. Obviously, I'm a big PCO fan. Uh, so, Rey Mysterio is losing another eye. He's going blind. Either that or they're going to rig up some stupid fucking prop. <laughs> no, their third eye. It's going to be some stupid Kama Sutra bullcrap. Yeah, I, I can hope see that's that not the case. Um, like, uh, like what, if, what if it's like, uh, I mean, oh, I mean, Honestly, this, this is probably going to be very, like, anti-Mexican. Like, ay, ay, ay. Uh, what? Get it. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you were right. That was kind of anti-Mexican. <laughs> or, 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 or maybe they'll get the... Or, or maybe they'll get the robot from Power Rangers. <sighs> you know, he always went, ay, ay, ay. Alpha. Why don't you just tell them to say, Adios mio, while you're at it. Shit. Well, because Jeb Coulter's not here. <laughs> um, any which way you look at it, it's, um, see what I did there, look at it. Um, no, that's stupid. It's going to be something interesting, because I don't know what to expect. And isn't that kind of what wrestling is? Not knowing, not really having expectations of what it may actually be? Well, do we even know what's, what to expect from now till fucking October with the current climate, really? I mean, it's all up in the air, really, uh, in this whole well, fucking world. It, it should be 72 degrees with a light breeze. But yes, there should be some semblance of... For you know, uh, dissipating reality in the storylines, you should have some, you know, some and, way to to believe to disbelieve, and throw in some big booty bitches. Hey, of course. All right, and that will conclude our coverage of um, oh, Extreme Rules, the horror show. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh. I heard it. <laughs> uh, you want to once again plug the remix, Scooter? No. Plug it like a Russian whore. 
Uh, check out the remix, UMB Sports. Maybe check out my, my, my Twitter, Rip the Twatter. You'll see it. Uh, who am I kidding? No one's going to see it. Yeah, Shut. don't do anything for popularity. You just do because you'll like it, dude. Fuck it. All right. Break out the cocaine. Hey! And that will conclude our show. <laughs> if you like, please like, subscribe, comment, both on YouTube and Castbox. <sighs> oh, I was going to suck mine through a straw at my anal cavity. <laughs> Might as well have it in the dick to go. Uh, Aha, nice! Good one, James. Oh, well, that's how you get your diarrhea to be gonorrhea. You can also join the conversation on Twitter. Dad joke! I'm at JamesJ993. If Mitch Mayhem tweeted, where would Miss Mayhem tweet? I've been tweeting off and on, but I'm also busy. Well, I, I, I'm in other things, so fuck. It, Twitter's boring. But if I have a reason to respond, it's at Mitch Mayhem X. So. If, if I have the, th- if the other things you're in, do you mean bed? Yeah, fuck. Bro, <laughs> fuck off. I mean, it, other things I'd rather do. I'm in the middle of something. What? My mattress. Yeah, is very like, funny. Um, my nose be like this. Uh huh, very funny. And look at this fine scooter dust. They can't anymore. That would be implying that someone was trying to look for you in the first place. Ha! Not a joke. No, it's implying that I'll be dead next week. Jesus, you get dark. Fuck. Quick. Jesus. Well, he always reincarnates. I so... That scooter dust. And find me wherever Mitch isn't. And that's the best place to be. Jesus! What the <laughs> fuck, guys? <laughs> in, fact, in fact, I'm going to register that Twitter handle right now. You guys are fucking mean tonight. <laughs> find me at wherever Mitch isn't. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Glad you can tickle yourself so much. Jesus. For Coleco Yachts, <laughs> Mitch hey. Mayhem, and Scooter Dust, I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling with Entertainment. I'll have that dick to go!